Have you ever just been playing a casual game inside of Roblox when all of a sudden the world's most spooky and weird avatar has come out of nowhere and absolutely scares you? Well, today I'm going to be doing you justice and making sure that these characters know exactly what they have gotten themselves into when they start messing with you. Okay, so as you can see, I've gone ahead here and collected all of my avatars here. As you can see, a nice wide selection we have here of quirky and um, unique avatars to say the least. And what I've done is I've actually now given them a skeletal system. So when we run the game, all of their bones should work and they should collapse to the ground. Okay, so if we run it now, you can see <laughs> there we go. It all collapsed and their bodies can be interacted with just like that <laughs> okay so i've got a little bit of a conveyor here and it's working perfectly um <laughs> so now that i have the fundamental part of the system done which is going to be transporting these guys it's time to give them a bit more of a filling experience Okay, so what I'm doing here is I'm expanding the conveyor belt, introducing a brand new slope. As you can see, I align it up nice and well here. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to load all of our Vic notes, sorry, our customers onto the conveyor belt here. As you can see, I'm working on that right now. Then I realize there's not going to be enough space, so I expand the base plate out a little bit and I chuck all of them onto the conveyor belt just like that. And now if we press run, everything should be working. Okay, so that side's working just fine. However, this side has slid in the wrong direction. So let's go ahead and fix that real quick. Okay, and the way we can fix this is by changing the assembly line velocity. And yep, okay, so that's working all good. And now it's time to make a couple more changes to our track. Here's a clip of me stupidly thinking I'm going to get away with making a ramp this steep and as you can see for me it definitely does not end up working at all. And you may be thinking to yourself, where is this stairway to heaven leading? And you may actually be surprised our victim, no sorry I mean our guests here are slowly wheeled up where they will then slowly experience a 30 meter drop down into a soft hill with a uh, little pit at the bottom where they can then be collected for further use. After that I was thinking how could I make these guys lives more miserable than it already is and I decided the best way to do this would be to create a massive ramp that launches them at a thousand meters per second straight into a rock wall. So as you can see here I'm creating the ramp and then I decide to add a little stone mountain just like that. So now with all of that out of the way let's see if this is going to work as I expect it to. <laughs> straight into a rock wall where <laughs> then we'll slowly figure out what to do with them um, from there. I noticed a couple of them were escaping here so I've just made a little wall here just to make sure that they can't slip out of our grasp and now with the introduction of some safety walls here <laughs> the characters will slowly be launched up the ramp after experiencing some terrible g-forces <laughs> and oh my god oh no <laughs> and then we're gonna have to figure out what to do with them after that i've realized something super important if we just leave them like this there's not going to be that many people and it's not going to be enough so every 30 seconds we're going to duplicate all of them so that another set of these guys will be rolling through so they can watch their family burn i'll quickly write the logic for that now okay and as you can see all of our friends are cloned in here and look at that I've now added a drag detector to all of the parts so that you can easily drag them about. Now I've noticed a minor issue with them falling off the conveyor here so I'm going to fix that now.
There we go. As you can see, they're slowly going up the escalator here with no harm. And now finally, this stupid green idiot can't escape. Okay, so, as you can see, they're slowly wheeling up the conveyor belt here. And then they're going to drop down the hill where they first break all of their bones. And then they're going to slowly be launched at 100 miles per hour straight, <laughs> straight into the mountain. Um... <laughs> <laughs> uh, where we need to figure out what we're gonna do with them next. Okay, so I've made a couple of changes since we last talked. So after our guests here have their body thrown at tremendous speeds into rock walls, they'll slowly be siphoned into this little conveyor here where I put some inspirational marketing down. Oh my god, what happened to you KSI? Jesus Christ. Um, like I was saying, they'll slowly be taken along the track until they'll meet the absolute inferno of a flame we have going here, which is apparently the most painful way to die according to the most um, accurate source on the internet, Reddit. And if you somehow made it past all of this, you'll get an amazing donk here in our oil bath right here, where our victims will slowly but surely be pulled along the ground. There he is. And this is where we need to expand more. So you may be thinking to yourself, okay, surely he's just going to connect this up. But uh, no. no, I have a lot more in stock. Okay, so I've made a couple of changes here, and I'm glad to announce that the infinite track is now done. So let's see what it's all about. So first of all, as usual, our users are spawned in here. Users, that's a strong word. Our victims here are spawned in. And they're slowly dragged up the stairway, or more suitably, the escalator to hell. See, look at that smile. He's enjoying his time. Then, <laughs> once they reach the top of the hill, they'll be dumped down this uh, grass slide, where they'll only be a little bit bruised. I'm sure they're okay. Then, they're going to go on this high-speed launch pad. As you can see, Roblox doesn't like me launching their characters at 100 miles per hour into stone wall. Oh, uh, as you can see. Then they're going to slowly be dragged along on this escalator, as you can see, as expected, there's the motivational speech. Then they're going to run through the little flame here, as you can see, having a fantastic time. And then he's going to be dragged here onto this deep fried oil, where he'll be nice and crisp. Now, I inserted these medical bags so that once you've died, because if that <laughs> didn't kill you, this certainly will, I want to make sure that you're alive so you can experience the next moments of your life. So, you'll slowly be dragged across this insanely bright flashing part, and you'll have no control over any of your limbs. Oh, look at that, he's stuck. Let's rescue him here. There you go. Then you'll slowly be dragged up this path, where you'll continuously increase. Remember, there are your family members going by. They can already watch you getting launched at 100 miles per hour into the stone wall. There's another set of them going past. And then slowly you're going to continue to go up this hill. And then you're just about to go here. And then once you reach the top of this hill, you're going to meet your end by dropping down once again, <laughs> smashing into the rock. And then you're going to start the entire loop again. So as you can see, here's our first um, guest coming up here. And finally, they are dropped off again to repeat the cycle all again. So as you can see, a couple of our guests are slipping off here. So what I can do is I can always just drag them back onto the track. Or what I can do is I can add some safety rails to prevent them from falling off. So I think I'm going to do that now. Okay, so there we go, and now everything should be complete. So let's see, we have our super bright strobe light here, the fire, our medical bags, our oil, and then our another stairway up into the repeat of the loop. So let's just make sure everything's working now. Here they go, as you can see, speeding up and back. oh my god. Oh my god. Ah, well, look, he, he's alright, he's alright. Um, and as you can see, they're slowly merged here onto the lane. Oh, is Kaiser gonna beat him? Yes, he does. Then they're gonna be burnt to a crisp. 
just like this. Here comes the next batch, ready to, <laughs> ready to, ready to meet Jesus. Okay, Mike is back in the lead here. Now he's been awakened, and his poor eye is just looking into that bright, flashing strobe lights. Oh my god. Oh no, he's stuck. This isn't good. Uh oh. Oh no, what have I made here? Uh oh, this is not good at all. Okay, we're gonna fix this. There we go. And then we're gonna rotate it like this. And all is fixed. All is good. Perfection. Oh, look at that. They're all making it up. Perfect. And no one's falling off. See, everyone can now enjoy the process here. <laughs> look at those two creatures going up together. Oh, the green monster's taking the lead here. And are you ready? A full loop in 3, 2, 1. There you go. So, if any of you guys were tortured or scared the hell out of by any of these in individuals inside of your Roblox game, rest assured, I've taken control of it, and now they're going to be in my facility forever while they go round and round in loops, experiencing the worst pain possible. I hope you enjoyed yourself, I know I certainly did. Thank you everybody for tuning in, that's all from me, and have a fantastic night.